Alright guys, what's going on? Obviously, I have to address the last video that I made. Unbelievable turnout, guys. I really can't thank you enough. I'm serious. Like, the amount of support I've gotten on that last video is something I never would have expected. The channel is now at 2,000 views, I mean 2,000 subscribers and 43,000 views at the time of making this video on that last video. Wow guys, unbelievable. I'm so thankful that people really took my story to heart and you guys obviously really liked it. Um, unfortunately, we do have some shoe videos to get through, but right after I'm done with those, there will be an update coming soon. Maybe I'll publish the update first, or maybe I'll just troll you guys and leave you in suspense with some nice shoes. Let me make sure the camera angle is all right. Looks good. All right, so today what we have in hand are the Jordan 4s in the wet cement colorway. This is a brand new colorway. Retail for $225. It just came out. My trainer was able to bop them on the Nike sneakers that I will leave. Here they are in the flesh. We're going to go over all the major details on these joints and talk about why I think they're a pretty good Jordan 4. Let's jump in. So, uh, these were released about a week ago. The box is very cool. You got like a cement pattern on top on these sides as well. This is the size tag. Very cool pattern going on. Flight on top, which is obviously standard, but what's not standard is the texture on this box, which does actually have a cement vibe. This is very cool. I, I commend them for this. This is a cool detail. Opening the lid on the box, we got some speckled paper, which is actually very very, uh, it matches well with the shoe itself. So, these are not the white cements, but they are the wet cements. They are all gray. They got multiple shades of gray on the upper. You got this dark, dark gray on the front, which actually looks like asphalt. And then you got this lighter gray, which maybe has more of a cement vibe. Medial side, we got the same thing. Wings logo right there. Um, and yeah, it's pretty even Steven on both shoes. We got the flight tag on the tongue right here, which is pretty cool as well. Flight tag on the back. I do wish they put Nike on the back, but I understand that it's not an OG colorway, so there'd be no real point of doing that. And then we also got this pull tab right here, so that's pretty cool as well. Medial side area went over. You got the gray laces in the shoe. The overall pattern behind this shoe is actually the Olympics in Paris. So that's what these are inspired by. That's what they are paying homage to. I do find that pretty, pretty sick. Um, on the inside of the tongue, we got Air Jordan upside down like in normal fashion. On the insole, we just got a jump, man. Nothing too special. On the outsole, we got a dark gray and light gray outsole. Um, it is a little bit different colors. Barely noticeable. Or am I just blind? I could be just blind. I think it's all one uniform color. Um, I've been told I'm colorblind by uh, some of my friends, so don't blame me for that. Then we got the bubble right here, which is see-through. Um, very, very cool right there, how it's just a gray midsole and a gray outsole. Definitely has a vibe to, vibe to it. Let's jump to the other shoe, this is the right shoe. Um, lot going, not, not a lot going on here, I meant to say. Um, pretty similar. This is one of those shoes that, like, there's not that much to say just because of the colorway of it. Like, wh what do you want me to say about this? It's a gray Jordan 4. Um, however, um, there is a couple of other Jordan 4s that were released in the last few years, last few months, that I think are a lot better than this one. The Military Blues, the 
Jordan for Bread Reimagined. So these definitely kind of get overshadowed by those and I wouldn't personally wear them, but it's a very wearable shoe that's overall a nice shoe. Like I can't really fault them. I just realized that there's also the Chinese kind of hang tag inside there, which some shoes have lately. Pretty cool right there as well. Um, so yeah, with that being said, I'm probably not gonna drag this on longer than it needs to be. So that way I can get these back to my trainer and start up on my long video update regarding the whole situation. If you haven't checked out the last video, definitely check it out. It's a great one. So thanks for watching this one. Take care and I'll see you all soon. Peace.